Hey everybody, this is Heidi from the blog Hands Occupied and I am here today to talk to you about the new HP Sprout, um, its 3D scanning capabilities and turntable and how those can be used to scan in 3D objects that you've made, hack and mix them up, and create something new with a 3D printer, which is really cool. For those of you who don't know me, I am a knitwear designer, so I make garments, and I also blog about knitting at my blog, Hands Occupied. And so when I found out I was going to get a chance to work with this really cool technology, as a knit designer, I was like, well, how can I capture knitting with the 3D scanning and then do something more with it that I couldn't do with traditional knitting techniques? So I started looking at some swatches. For those of you who don't knit, swatches are just little squares of knitting. Um, and I thought it would be really cool to capture the texture of knitting and then use that in um, 3D printing applications to add some texture and personality. So I was like, yeah, I want to take a texture that I've created with my own hands and recreate that with a 3D scanning and printing. So using rope, made a little swatch of knitting that I'm now using the, the turntable to scan into my computer. Uh, the piece that I have knit is just a few rows of just plain knitting called stockinette stitch and I've attached it to the turntable using straight pins. What I found scanning those swatches flat was that the computer had a hard time realizing what was 3D about it. So what I did was I used straight pins like you'd use for sewing to make the piece of knitting a little stiffer and also to prop it up perpendicular to the scanning turntable so that it could get, so that the camera doing the scanning could get a view, better view of it. So I've got this all rigged up right now and I think I'm ready to hit scan. What's really fun to watch is the 3D turntable is a turntable just like a record turntable and it uses that so you can capture, you can hear it right now, so you can capture every angle of the object you're scanning. Pretty cool. I just finished scanning my object, which is pretty cool. And now, um, after a couple more cycles of scanning to make sure that the computer has every angle of my knitting, I'll be able to mash it up and then create something with a 3D printer. After successfully 3D printing my knitted swatch, I was able to attach a necklace chain to it using jump rings and jewelry pliers. Now I have a finished necklace that I love wearing and I can't wait to experiment with 3D scanning and printing more of my handmade items. Mm -hmm. 